Hello Junkies, and welcome to another Star Wars review from AFJ. Now, today we are going to be talking about the Scout Trooper, aka the Biker Scout. Now, this is great. This is, the, this is part of the second wave of Star Wars Black Series Archive Collection. Now, the reason why we think this is great is because if you did not get this figure in 2014 as part of the Biker Scout set, now this is one of the very first... I wouldn't say very, very first ones with the vehicle. They did have some Tauntauns that did come along. It was the only way you could get them. Now, we do have them. He's in the archive, but we have not opened him. So, being a big fan of the Star Wars genre, uh, it is great that they decided to re-release this figure. Also, he's a bit harder to find because, unlike some Star Wars figures, you only really need, like, one Yoda, one Anakin, one Obi-Wan, unless it's different you know, years of, of those characters, especially not Yoda, because it's always the same. But as Biker Scouts go, you can troop build. So, people are grabbing Biker Scouts whenever they see them. A.K.A. Scout Trooper. It's Biker Scout. So, we decided that we were going to get this figure, got it from Entertainment Earth, and we wanted to review him. So, we're going to open him up today, see if he's any good. And the thing is, we have real no comparison, because as I had mentioned before... Ours is still in the package, though the package is fairly beat up, and I think uh, you may be seeing him sooner or later here on AFJ's YouTube page. So, packaging design. A lot of a lot of Black Series fans are upset because we do not get the box again. This is Hasbro's way of differentiating between what originally came out. Now, obviously, this one was a window box, and it's part of the blue line, the blue colors. Uh, that was the next wave after the orange. It's a little bit different. These fit on a peg. I see these as figures that are made to open. You're supposed to open this guy. So we're just going to get right into it. Yep, this is the horrible part and the best part. We are opening this figure right up. Instantly, we're going to slide him out of there. Look at that. Oh, it's horrific. Oh, my God. It's open. So as you have that uh, new figure smell here, let's give it a quick whiff. He does not. So as I said, we picked him up on Entertainment Earth. Um, when I was a kid, I believe this was the first uh, Return of the Jedi figure that I had to have. I had to have the new Stormtrooper. He looks so cool. So what I do love is that unlike those original Stormtroopers, we do have a lot of dirt and grit right in here mixed in with these colors. He's not all black and white like he was on the original figure. We do get some, sh uh, like, you know, some wear and tear, some life that was breathed into these characters. This guy wears an all-white basically, uniform, walks around. He's going to get dirty. He's going to get dirt inside of his, like, his armor here, especially when he's zipping around in the speeder bikes on Endor. And the other thing I like about this is that they've they've done this with snow troopers too. They've given them that off yellow look that the sun has bleached their armor a different color. So, also very, very cool. But, as it was with the old figure, here it is, the tiny little dinky gun. Wish that Hasbro, in this release, would have included a sniper rifle. Because if you play Star Wars the Black... Uh, I'm sorry, you play Star Wars Battlefront, the biker scouts have this dinky pistol, but they also come with a sniper rifle. I think that's appropriate. So, let's get him out of there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's get this dinky gun out of here. Look at that thing. I mean, this thing is so small, it actually... Now, we're going to compare it here. I do have here to the side. Here is a Star Wars blaster that goes with a um, a vintage collection Stormtrooper Han Solo. So I do have him here on the side for comparison, but I did not think I would be comparing these blasters. Look how tiny this is. Now, the nice thing about this gun and this accessory is that unlike the original toy, you can actually stick that in there and you've got that great collection, you know, realism. He's dirty, he's gritty, he's grimy. Hands are really cool. Do like in that. Looks like he might be uh, he might be ambidextrous. He could be a lefty or a righty. So let's give him a nice pose here for an instant pose. Get rid of the plastic coffin here. And so we've got instant pose on our usually uneven background, but he does look good. You gotta admit. It is a solid figure, and, and a well-deserved figure for this line. Like, you really needed another release of the Biker Scout. So, let's get into the armor here. Now, you can feel the boots. They, they slide here, which is kind of nice. Um, it feels like it's a boot boot, like it's actually part of the character. Um, got nice here that we can have him sit. Now, if we had the bike, 
we're just going to assume that he's sitting on the bike. You have to be able to do the, you know, we need to have that foot that goes down to accelerate. So I thought that was kind of cool that they did that. And we get a little bit of the white here, here and there, but it's well lived in. Let's see if we can hold this little gun. And I feel, look at that. That was a little loose. That really, uh, yeah, a little loose there. But let's see if we can hold this gun. His hands are really small too. But look at this thing. This is ridiculous. How small is this gun? Look. Pew, pew. It's like the noisy cricket from uh, Men in Black. Let's see if he's more a, uh, a lefty than a righty, which might just help. Uh, looks like it's a, almost a two-finger uh, two gun there. But, you know, if he's going to be leaning over this way and doing this, I guess it kind of works. Though it is the wrong hand, because how could he get it from here to there in the holster? So, that we're going to kind of, uh, yeah, kind of gloss over that. So let's do a comparison in size here. I don't like the fact that it's in the wrong hand. It really bothers me. Like, these, these characters are made a certain way to do certain things. So, all right, well, that's better. All right, so I did get it in the other hand, but it did take a little little bit of prying. I'd say he's he feels very... I want to say he feels rubbery, like um, it's not hard plastic, like the armor, it, it kind of gives. Um, it has a nice gloss to it, too, and look, we even have some little bit of dirt here. And you wonder, is this little bit of white, is that just a blemish from the paint, or is it actually just part of the character? So we could go either way with a character like this who has some wear and tear. It would be neat if they released, like, right out of the Academy Troopers. Those would be cool. But I do like this little bit of red right here. That's neat. I like that a lot. Head's really good. And I could see taking the head off and maybe putting on like Ezra Bridger or Kanan Jarrus on here, especially Ezra because he did wear this uniform uh, in Star Wars Rebels. So let's do a comparison here. So we have a biker scout. It's all set, ready to go. Let's see if I can get him to pose again. I really do like the boot. See, look at this. It's a boot boot. You know, it's even got little treads here. And we've got double the peg holes. I guess that's for the bike. But then here, let's bring in the best at what he does and do a comparison in size here. So here's the classic, I don't want to say classic Boba Fett. This is actually the Boba Fett from this wave. This is the archive Boba Fett. And as you can see, it is, he looks great next to him. So yeah, I'm loving that. That looks really good. Um, see if I can do a little bit of color there. And I like to compare some of the these other figures here to some Marvel Legends. Um, they're very much in the same realm. And with the different heights of characters and the sizes and stuff, here's the Collector. This is the CDC Collector. And I think he looks good next to the Black Series figure. Um, it's a solid, I mean, he's intergalactic, he's crazy. I think he looks good next to Boba Fett, too. So, gives you an idea of the size of the character in which we're talking about here. Now, the Biker Scout... And it's really going to upset me to take him away from this really cool pose that I got of these three guys here. But if we look at the Biker Scout standing up, he's six inches. A little shy of six inches, but he's not standing straight up. And then if we give him a comparison in size to a vintage collection uh, figure, which is kind of like the mini Black Series figure, there is the vintage Han Solo that Target had. Um, for Father's Day that was everywhere and then disappeared after Father's Day was over. So gives you an idea of the size there of the two figures. So real quick review, awesome figure, exactly what I wanted from a Black Series figure of a Biker Scout. Glad to have him to be part of the collection, and I'm really looking forward to getting another one. Hopefully um, when the next wave of figures comes out, perhaps he'll be more abundant, especially uh, with – uh, Rise of Skywalker figures coming out. Hopefully there'll be more of these uh, like previous waves floating around. But that's it for all for, for today, junkies. Uh, thank you, and uh, please tune into our other YouTube uh, reviews. Check them out. I will have links to The Collector and Boba Fett and Han Solo. So talk to you later. Thank you.